So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and here you can see we have to open the data sharing partner console so just open it in incognito window now here we have two console okay so make sure to select correct username and password as I am doing so just enter the username and now enter the password like this just follow along with me and you will get full score without any issue now here click on I understand Now here the page is loading here you have to just click on I understand and another pop up will come where you have to just enter basically agree and continue like this let me show you just scroll down and here you can see we have to just click on agree and continue. From here basically you have to go to the search box you can see here here you have to just open the BigQuery and if it is not visible you can type BigQuery and just open it okay so just open the BigQuery like this it will take some time now here basically we have to create some views and add permission on it okay so just click on this untitled query or you can do one thing you can also use the plus icon you can see here to add a query so like this first the query page is loaded and here if it is not loaded you need to just refresh the browser window and then we'll move forward to the next step so as you can see the page is fully loaded now we have to just run the query for running the query you have to come to the task number one and from here just copy the query like this and just paste over here and click on run it will take some time so wait for it just wait for it to get completed and if you need other skill pages and lab free courses all are available on the channel just check the playlist okay now from here you have to just click on the save view okay just click on the save view let me show you how you have to save so once the query is fully loaded you have to just click on the save save view and from here select the demo data set and for the table name okay just for the table name come over here and just copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space either on the front side or back side and just paste it carefully just paste it carefully and once it is done we have to just add some permissions so here click on the demo data set and from here you can see sharing just click on authorize view and here basically you have to paste the table name which we have just now created and select it and then click on add authorization you can see here it is visible on active now click on this table basically the table here also we have to add permission you can click on this share or click on three three dots and share if it is not visible okay now click on manage permissions here basically we have to add data query viewer role so just check the score for first task and copy the username from here copy it carefully and just click on add principle just click on add principle carefully you can see here are the roles which will be added so if you want to explore you can explore it now here come down over here and from here assign the role so from here just click on BigQuery data viewer and just click on this and then save it so once you have saved the BigQuery role you can just come to the lab instructions and check the score and if the score is not updating wait for some time it will definitely update now here you can see we have to use customer project console so for that you need to just sign in using the second username so close this window come over here and just open this into incognito window now here you can see here different username and password you have to use so you have to use the customer username copy it from here just paste it like this hit enter and similarly the password also okay so just copy the password like this now here again repeat the same process I understand agree and continue and then open the BigQuery and there will do some more things so just stay tuned so it's taking some time do not worry wait for the page to fully load now from here you have to just click on I agree and agree and continue you must be knowing now the next step is that you have to open the BigQuery so just like we opened first we have to just go to the search box or you can from the navigation menu also open the BigQuery so here just click on the BigQuery it will take some time to load now finally the BigQuery page is now ready now here also you can just open any untitled query or you can just click on the plus icon 
So first of all copy this query from here and paste over it and just click on run. Now the query is executed. Now we have to just open one more query. Basically we have to click on the plus icon and the next query which will be running that will only be saved as a view. So just you have to just wait for some time and then come over here. Just copy the view name first of all. Okay, just copy the view name carefully and then we will just run the query. So just copy the view name. We don't have to save this query. Okay, we have to just save the task number 31. So just click on this plus icon, copy this query, paste over here and run it. And once it is completed, you have to click on save, save view, select the data set that is customer data set and just paste this view name. It might be different for you. So make sure you check the lab instructions for the name also. Okay. Now once it's done, click on save. And after that, we have to check the score. It will take some time. Do not worry. Even if you are not getting the score. Now we have to add permissions. So the first permission we have to add to the data set. Okay. Here you have to click on this. And here you can click on sharing. Click on authorize views. Again, you have to just copy the same name and paste over here like we did previously. Only the name is different, process is similar. Just click on add authorization. You can see it is visible on current place. Now here we have to add some permissions. So just copy the username. Click on this table. Okay, customer info table. You have to just click on this. Oh, sorry, not to customer info. We have to add to view. Okay, so just come over here to the lab instructions again. Okay, click on this one. Okay, now just copy the username click on share or you can just click on this three dot share and manage permissions and just add the permissions okay do not worry about it we'll cover everything step by step you'll be able to complete this lab so now just paste in the principal section and then we have to assign the role what is the role big query data viewer so just run it and just save it like this so once it is successfully saved you have to just check the score and do not worry, lab takes time to update the score, so you can just wait for some time. Wait for some time, the score will definitely be updated. You need not to worry about it. If you follow the way I have done, you will definitely get the score 100 out of 100 without any issue. So just wait for some more time. Yes, we got the score. Now here, for this basically looker, we have to just see, first of all, check the score. And for this looker, we have to use the data sharing partner user id okay you have to just close again that page and then reopen so just close it okay just close it and just right click over it wait a second right click open in a new tab and here wait for a second i will show you how you have to do click on use for free now here username will be using that is data sharing partner so just copy it carefully and same with the password just paste it and just click on next once you click on next it will again i think ask for no it is not asking so here basically we have to authenticate ourselves as looker credentials using so here just click on this blank report select the country you can select any country but as i am from india i am selecting india and company name also you can write anything and then just click on this checkbox and continue now here just click on yes to all and if you are unable to see continue just zoom out from your browser now the next thing is that you have to just click on blank report just authorize from the BigQuery you have to select the lab credentials username and then basically you have to just here you have to just select the my projects okay now here we have to select the user id mentioned over here which project id you have to select customer project id from here so how do you find it you have to just scroll down and here you can see customer project id just paste over here select it again select it and select the table okay you have to select this one the name authorized view table okay you have to just select it and here it will ask to add a report if it asks just click on add to report like this and that's how we completed this lab if you like the way do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys other lab free courses and skill badges are already on the description box that's all about this video have a great day ahead